Caramel. All right, so on our next stop, we got Taqueria 2000. You ready? Yeah, right. Taqueria right. 2000. 2000. Hey, you have to learn Spanish, man. I do, I do. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Si. Si se puede. <laughs> <laughs> Look how thick and juicy that meat is on that charcoal grill. That's what we we're smelling when we pulled up to the spot. Sí. Oh. Foyer. 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 Qué mala onda, pero nosotros no somos. Entonces. Alright guys, so at our next location, Tacos 2000, this spot is known for their quesadilla con carne. Yep. All right. Arrachera. Arrachera. Skirt steak. Skirt Taqueria steak. Taqueria in Rosarito. Skirt skirt. Skirt. Uh, Fog tortilla is, you know, norteño. Norteño food. It's northern. So the Fog tortilla right here is very good. And the arrachera, I mean, the steak is quality. Yeah. Wood fire roasted. Wood fire. That's what I was smelling right it's when not, I... It's not charcoal. Not charcoal? Wood. Okay. Yeah, right when I stepped out of his car, I I smelled it right away. The <laughs> yeah, wood fire did. right there. Fills up the air. All right. Super excited. All right. I love Let's skirt steak and flour tortillas. So that's flour tortilla, cheese, Yeah. the beef, frijoles de la olla, I mean beans, mm -hmm. you know, guac, salsa, and let's go. That's good news. And a uh, fun fact about me, my introduction to Mexican food was actually quesadillas at Del Taco. So, yeah, kind of hit <laughs> home. Right. I love quesadillas. That is a fun fact. <laughs> All right. I guess the thing right to there. do is have some, put some chilito on here, chile. Yep. All right, we got their specialty item here, the arachera quesadilla, right? Yeah, quesadilla de arachera. Mm -hmm. Quesadilla de arachera. That's right. Yeah. And um, Adrian here prescribed me with some chile and some limon to eat this with. Limon. limon. Oh, it's nice and hefty. This is one right here. Mm -hmm. It's a quesadilla. You feel the softness of oh. the tortilla. The flour tortilla, yeah. Yep. Cheers. Cheers, man. Mm. Fire, literally. Wood wood fire. Oh, but the orange chair, you could taste the wood fire on it right away. It's like a little bit mesquite. Yeah. Mm. Just yeah. with a fluffy tortilla. I love flour tortilla. Nice and chewy, thin, fluffy. And a lot of fresh ingredients in here. It's yeah. spicy? Pretty spicy, I taste it on my lips, but uh, <laughs> there's also some beans on here as well. Yeah, I mean, mesquite, flour tortilla, and skirt steak, that's Sonora. Mm. That's Sonora style, yeah, right? Yeah, that's Sonora style. Awesome. We're, we're in Rosarito. 
This is a Rosarito right here, guys. Ooh, right. Yummy. So the juices? The steak is cooked to perfection. I would say it's like on the medium side, nice and juicy. Yeah. You can see the juice dripping down. Yep. Fresh guacamole. That's what I love about TJ. Fresh guacamole everywhere. Fresh ingredients, bomb meats, delicious quesadilla, cheesy goodness. Fire. Fire. That's right. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> Cheese pool. Darsh got that good cheese pool. Look at that. Fire. <laughs> the main key distinction to these quesadillas are definitely the wood fire meats. So guys, I could pick at these all day. They just have a very unique flavor to them with the mesquite grill. It's a little bit sweet. So tasty. So flavorful. So much flavor in this arachara. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> Fire with juice. Fire with How's juice. <laughs> All right. Now kill this. And this is a uh, 60 pesos each. That's like three bucks. Yeah, three bucks. Two bucks. All right. On to our next location. Let's go. All right, DVW fam, so our next location, Taqueria El Zerdo. Surdo. Surdo. Surdo, that's right. Surdo, and we're here for a giant carne asada. Massive. Massive, Massive. burrito. Almost five pounds. Five pounds, five guys. Five pounds. Ooh, so is this like a challenge, like a food challenge here, or is it I, just like... I don't think it's a challenge because I don't think anyone can, okay. can finish it. All right, no. so if you need a break of fast, this will be the place to go. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> The tortilla guys look at that oh and there's cheese on there it's throwing on some carne asada oh and um Oh man, muchas gracias. All right guys, so we're here for the five pound burrito challenge right here. One of these is like the size of my head, guys. Look at this, it's like falling apart. There's chorizo, carne asada, guacamole, cilantro. I guess we're just gonna have to take a bite. I'm gonna take the biggest bite I've done all day. Tortilla is really thick, fluffy, lined with cheese. I think if you guys have the munchies, this is the first place you need, you need to hit up in Tijuana. Cause this is only like it was 240, 240 pesos 
for five pounds of amazing food. That's like ten bucks, like twelve. Like uh, yeah, like twelve. Twelve bucks. It's like a price of like two tacos in San Diego. <laughs> so so yeah, guys, this is a uh, how you get your bang for your buck. Ooh, I'm taking that back. Five pounds. Probably more. I mean the whole. The whole burrito. The whole burrito is way more than five pounds because well, this is like oh well, yeah you're right. This is like four and a half pounds, like four-ish pounds. Ten pounds. So then there's two. So I would say like eight. 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 Easily eight pounds. Easily eight pounds. It could be upwards of ten though. <laughs> but guys, we've just ate at four places. Chocolate. I'll let you guys know if you guys need to break a fast. This is the place to go right here, guys. Mm. Funny sauce is decent. Yeah, it's decent. Mm -hmm. Some um, chorizo in here. Yeah, it is. Guys, it's a big ass. Guys, this is just yeah, it's just uh, it is what it is. A big ass carne asada burrito. It's nice to try. Just taking one bite, I've never had a bite of just so much volume in a burrito. Like so much meat, guys. Chorizo, cheese, a bunch of veggies, beans, and the carne asada. But I think uh, the highlight is. Part of carne asada and the chorizo. The chorizo is really um, chewy, sweet, kind of like spicy. For sure. Mexican sausage. Mm. I just got a huge glob of cheese. Munchy food for sure, guys. You guys need to eat a bunch of calories for some reason. This is a spot to go. Way more than five. No way it's five. Is this the biggest burrito you ever bit into your life? <laughs> not for not for yes. <laughs> Shake your head for no. Oh, uh, he can't even speak. Ooh. All right, on to more Mexican food adventures. Let's go. Alright guys, so we can't have all that savory food without cleansing our palate with some sweets. So what do we got here, Mr. Baja Cali food? Marquesitas. Marquesitas. Basically like a, like a waffle. Oh, okay. Like a waffle cone for the ice cream, that's it. Oh. Sweeter. We, uh, between a crepe and a waffle. Oh, so right, sure, like, you're gonna... Like a waffle gonna crepe, I can see it. Yeah. Like kind of looks like crepe. a waffle crepe. That's right. And uh, you said these are traditional Mexican desserts? Yeah, super traditional. Yeah, all from right. Yucatan, even uh, Guadalajara, and all those cities. All right, let's try it out. All right, let's see how these uh, marquesitas sure. taste. I'm excited. Let's try it. So we got different flavors. What, what do you have? Um, melocotón mm -hmm. and um, nuts. Nuts. Banana and strawberry. And cool. you have cajeta, melocotón, and cheese. Ooh, all right, let's try it all out. Right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> really crunchy. I haven't got to inside yet, but the cone is so. It's like Adrian says, like a thin, like waffle cone. That's right. Mm. It's not too sweet. Mm. A little salty. <laughs> yeah, it's flaky. That was messy. Mm. Yeah, what are you doing, Miss? 
Mm. It's unique because it's not like super sweet, sugary, yeah. which I appreciate in a dessert. But that cheese on there really brings it together. I was skeptical at first because I don't really eat a lot of cheese with desserts. But that's special. Queso edam. 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 edam cheese. It's like thick. Like smoky? Smoky, thick, but then like very soft and stringy at the same time. Yeah. Probably goes very well with this dessert. But yeah, the highlight is definitely the waffle cone. It is in between like a crepe and a waffle. It's like a crunchy crepe. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Fresh ingredients. Okay. All right, guys. And if you guys want to check this place out, it's in Rosarito. Yeah, Rosarito. Marquesitas Factory, Factory guys. That's right. Marquesitas Factories. Enjoy. Traditional Mexican desserts. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's my first time trying it. It's fire. It's great. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there's nice caramel drizzle in there too. Oh, nice. Hola, los invitamos a Rosarito a probar nuestras marquesitas, DBW Family. All right, I just wanted to end it with a bang with the biggest burrito I've had in Tijuana. But yeah, guys, that's it for this Mexican food tour in Tijuana. I want to thank Adrian from Baja Cali Food. He got all your Tijuana Mexican food needs. I'll drop all his socials down below. Let them know where they can find you, bro. Yeah, send me a message if someone has questions about it or you know, like a food tour or whatever, just contact me. All right, appreciate you, bro. If you guys want to see more, please like this video, comment down below some suggestions for us, and subscribe and check out Baja Cali Food for more Tijuana and Mexico food adventures. Deuces.